What's good guys, today I have two brand new methods for being able to blur the background of your webcam in OBS Studio as well as any other streaming application you might be using 100% for free without the need of an NVIDIA graphics card or the stream effects plugin. So with that being said, jumping into the first method, you're going to want to head over to prismlive.com. Scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see two drop downs. One's going to be for downloading Prism Live Studio, which I highly recommend by the way because it's just like OBS Studio, just a lot easier to use but most importantly here you're going to want to look to the right hand side and download the prism lens for your windows computer if you're watching this video far into the future the mac os version is probably released at this point so if you are using a mac you can go ahead and download this application for that system as well the installation of this application is very straightforward you can practically install it at the single click of a button once you do have it installed though bring it up the first thing you'll see are three separate prism lens at the top each of those lenses applies to a webcam that you might be using within this application. For this video, we'll go ahead and stick with Prism Lens 1, and then we're gonna go all the way over to the right hand side and click this drop down here. And this is where we can select our webcam. So I'm using the OpSpot Tiny 2 webcam plugged into my computer right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's gonna turn on my webcam, and there I am, as you can see on screen now. I'm gonna adjust myself just a smidge here. And now all we need to do to get that blur back background effect on our webcam is to first make sure for the virtual background you have the original selected and then if you go down here to the bottom you're going to see that teardrop icon with the slash through it you're going to want to move this bar up to the middle or to the end and that's how you're going to get the blur effect behind you you can see it taking effect right now actually i'll put it at 70 i think that looks pretty good it's subtle but not overpowering next up you can go ahead and open any streaming application of your choice i'm going to go ahead and use Prism live studio which I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video and what you can do here is just go to one of your scenes then go to your sources section select the plus button and we're gonna want to add a video capture device select OK I'll name mine webcam blur prism we're gonna select OK again and then pretty much right away you should see the webcam that you configured within the prism lens app within your streaming application. If you don't see it, just make sure you select the drop down and you select your corresponding lens. Now you can select OK and you can see my webcam with the nice blurry background and the quality is really good by the way, especially if you have good lighting. Now the beauty of Prism Lens is that it offers much more than just being able to blur the background of your webcam. If you want, you can remove the background completely without having a green screen. You can even add backgrounds behind yourself if you want is this perfect no nothing can really replace a green screen but I gotta say these features are pretty sick for the price of free but you know what else is free method 2 and this is for people who are specifically using OBS studio and want to get that nice blurry background effect even up to a 4k quality which is one of the limitations of prism lens so also linked in the description below is the background removal virtual green screen OBS plugin to download this you're gonna want to go to the go to download button so this will take you to github and then just scroll down a little bit and until you find the asset section and you're going to want to download the asset pertaining to your system so if you're on windows you're going to want to download the executable file if you're on mac os you're going to want to download the mac os universal package go ahead through the installation steps there's nothing special that you need to do here it won't overwrite your files or anything like that make sure you restart obs for the changes to take effect and once you have it back open go to one of your scenes and then go to your sources select the plus button and you're going to want to add your video capture device then i'm going to go ahead and select my webcam right here there it is and I'm just gonna go ahead and select OK and now I'm gonna select my webcam go to filters and then where you see the effect filters area I'm gonna select the plus button and you should see the background removal effect go ahead and add this on in you should see the settings details pop up on your screen and what you probably see already is that it automatically removed the background which is its normal job to do easy peasy no green screen required but we want to add that blur effect to our image so what we're going to want to do is actually scroll down almost to the bottom and you'll find a section called blur background factor if you want only a little bit of blur set it between three and five but if you want a whole lot of blur set it between like seven to eleven to still look reasonably nice i like mine at about seven if i want to tune this blur amount just a little bit more i can do the blur focus depth and i can slightly tune down 
the blur amount just a bit, depending on the amount I'm trying to go for. So I think that looks pretty good there. As for performance, this plugin can definitely get a bit resource intensive, so I definitely recommend playing around with the devices such as the CPU and the GPU that you have on your computer to see what works best. I wouldn't set the CPU threads over two. Segmentation model, you definitely want to keep that at media pipe because that will give you the best looking blur effect. But other than that, if you're happy with the way that your blur looks, go ahead and close it on out. And there is your final blur effect. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna go with method one or method two to get your blur effect. I'd say method one is a bit more versatile than just using it in OBS Studio, but hey, use what works best for your setup. Thank you Prism for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna learn more about the webcam that I was using in this video, it actually has a lot more features than meets the eye, such as AI tracking abilities. Check out the comparison I did here with it against the Insta360 link, and I will see you guys in the next one.